I'm a good designer. I'm a good character designer. I know how to draw. I know how to draw flat. I know how to draw lines. But what I never learned is how to render. And so today we'll be remedying this. Hey, what's up? I'm Jackie. If you don't know me, I'm a character designer for a lot of things that I've done. And obviously for my job, I need to know how to draw characters. And like I said, I'm good at it. But my job does not require me to, to paint, really. And it's always been something I wanted to do and I've never had the confidence to do it. Every time I try, it ends up pretty embarrassing and then I just give up. This week I've been doing studies every day and I'll probably make a video on my very first worst piece and then my final best piece, which is in the future and I will make a final best piece someday. So today join me as I study a reference and I try to paint it for basically the first time in years. I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials and I have a bunch of painting references in front of me. Yeah, all right, let's start. So to start with, I really want a good sketch. A good foundational sketch is the backbone of our society. So I'm tweaking the sketch. I'm working really hard to get the stylization correct, to make sure that everything structurally is in line with each other. The proportions of the face are all even because without, you know, a really good base of a sketch, my drawing is gonna look bad no matter what. So I really take my time and I make sure the sketch looks exactly how I want it to look. Oh, and looking back now, I realize I forgot to paint the necklace, which I wish I did, because that would have been very cool. So right now I'm liquefying, I'm squashing, I'm stretching, I'm kind of making sure my shapes are exactly the shapes that I want them to be, flipping it around a couple times, and I'm finally happy with my sketch, and I'm going to start like uh, like base coloring them, the, the parts of the, the portrait, so I have three separate layers, one for the face, for the shirt, the hair, and I guess some layers for the, the arms and the hands. And I am like, I'll, I'll explain how, how hard I struggled for this, but yeah, so I'm, I'm roughing it in. I'm not really very precise with how I'm doing it. And I'm like looking up tutorials at the same time. So I'm starting with, you know, my base. I'm getting the face. I'm getting the, the blush, I'm outlining the, the main parts, you know, I started doing the neck, but then I'm like, you know what, I should, uh, that's, that's too detailed. You know, you really got to focus on the, 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 the main, the main part of the drawing, the, the base, the solid, the foundation, and then details after. And sometimes I get tunnel vision and I start detailing a little too soon, just like this. But you know, the eyebrows is okay. The eyebrows isn't something that affects the whole thing. So I kind of, I kind of let it go. Uh, do the lips man because the lips for me are the easiest part to do it's the it's the part of the face that I understand the most I think the nose and the eyes are the hardest for me so I start with the lips to try to like be confident in something and so I'm using a hard brush a hard blend brush on Photoshop I know sorry on procreate and it's the basic bundle that comes with procreate it's free so I've been trying to use it and you can really see my thought process behind all this, um, canceling it and redoing it and trying again. I'm trying to, to make sure that the shadows are soft and sharp at the same time. I'm trying to like balance soft and hard because I did some practice before and everything was way too soft. There wasn't enough hard lines and I'm trying to like learn how to make things rendered hard and soft at the same time you know and here with the eyes i give up i try again later sometimes you just gotta give up i'm starting with some layers like the highlights on the face a little bit more some interesting lightings because like the the photo reference has a lot of colors in it and has a lot of interesting highlights and that's why i chose that reference i also see how i could kind of implement some colorful colors into her face so right here, I'm trying to do the eyes. Man, eyes are freaking hard. Like I'm looking at all these references for eyes and there's so much specificness to it. And because the eyes are the eyes to the soul, as we all know, and when you don't do eyes right, it messes up the whole entire drawing. And my eyes don't turn up right. I end up change, swapping this out a couple times. It doesn't quite work trying to throw some eyelashes in to maybe remedy the situation because I never I've never really rendered eyes before there's so much dimension and volume you're trying to capture and all of my drawings just fall flat when it comes to eyes so here specifically 
I'm trying to like add shadows without making it too soft. I'm trying to add some hardness back in. But when I look at it, it just looks soft. I don't know. I wish that I gave it another go. I feel like the eyes are the weakest point here, but I'm giving it my all. And here I discovered using the hard brush and then just softening one edge of it. And I feel like that was pretty successful like I did for the, the eye shadow-ish area. And I don't know, I'm trying to like simplify my approach on the way I, I like approach it. And I wish I, you know, I went back and I did try to do this with the eyes because the more I drew it, the more I feel like I learned something from it, which was good, you know, learning something. Trying to add some shadows underneath the lips. I think the lips were pretty successful. I also don't, I don't know, some of the, the highlights are a little bit too much. I kind of, I don't really like um, like an over rendered, like shiny kind of look, but I didn't know how else to do it. I don't know what to do. So I'm adding some blues highlights under the nose because you see some reflection on the reference photo with some reflection under her nose. So I tried to, to do that. Man, I don't know. I am clearly not following the reference close enough because the shadows aren't quite there. I didn't do the shadow in between her eyebrows. Well, I'm kind of trying. Well, this is like a loose interpretation of the reference. I've been doing a lot of studies lately and I think I'll, maybe I'll make a video of my whole entire journey from start to finish and see how actually I have improved, if I improved. So here I'm trying to add some more color into her face. You know, I'm taking this from a more fantastical approach at this point because I'm like, well, it's not gonna look like the reference. So I might as well add my own style into it and make it look, um, make it look pretty and glossy in my own way. It's hard to like approach a new drawing from a new way and also keep what's true to your drawings, I feel like, because I was studying a lot of other artists while I was doing this. So like, it's, it's give and take. It's learn and be learned. And I threw in some speckles from Mike McCain's um, Procreate Brush Pack, and I feel like that was helpful. Also, I learned that when you have a cool shadow, um, outlining the shadow with a hot, much warmer color than you know the base layer and the shadow layer adds a little bit of spice adds a little bit of interest in the transition so i thought that was pretty cool if i learned anything that's literally the only thing i learned in this process <laughs> but you know we we go and we go and for this shirt it's just so soft and the colors are so ugly i scrap it i try it again i try to simplify it i try to make you know a couple of blotches of different color um, starting off with soft and then going into really hard lines. Um, it doesn't work. It's okay. It does the jobs it's supposed to do and it, it works for the piece, but I do not know how to render and I don't know if I'll ever learn, but I'm trying my best and I'm going to keep doing studies. I did like two studies yesterday um, on my first day of work. So like it was, <laughs> it was tough, um, but I'm trying and trying to throw some colors in. And I'm doing this hand. I think this hand uh, turned out pretty good. I think it gives a little bit to the piece and I tried to keep it simple by, you know, implying these fingers and then also blurring some elements of it so it goes back in space a little bit differently from the face. I think that's a cool little touch. I wish that I blurred some other pieces like the bottom of the shirt or the back of the arm that's going behind her or maybe even the hair, the bun behind her. I don't know. Here I'm trying to save the eyes from all the things I learned along the process but at this point I'm just like it's time to move on. It's time to cut our losses and just call it quits. And then the next piece, maybe I'll, I'll learn something from it. So this is definitely better than my first study, but you know, you live and you learn and uh, sign. And then that's it. And that's the piece. Thanks for watching me struggle and trying to survive. And I'll see you next time.